What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a very special unboxing of a new camera from Red Digital Cinema, the Red Ranger. Now this camera is very special. This is their new flagship high-end camera and you can only get it through a rental house. Nobody can actually go out and purchase this camera. And I'm excited to get into some of the highlights of this camera, what makes it so special, as well as some of the accessories that comes with it. So let's just open it up here. Right away you'll notice that it comes in a pretty small case and this is because there isn't a lot of other accessories and build outs for it. The camera itself really has everything that you need included onto it. You don't have to worry about attaching your own IO ports or adding in extra audio or control. This has all of the things that you need like extra battery ports for accessories like PTAP, 12 volt and 24 volt. You have a couple more SDI options for sending a monitor and signal out. You also have an ACI built in or assistant camera interface where you can control the complete camera through that. So if you don't want to use the red monitor, you don't have to, you can use your own monitor on top of it. On the top side, you have a cheese plate that is built into the camera. This isn't an extra cage that's added on, and you have a ton of mounting points from quarter 20 and 3 8 We also include it with the 15 millimeter lightweight rails, which I'll get into in a little bit. Underneath that cage, you'll also notice that there is one singular fan now. This is a big feature of this camera. Instead of having two smaller ones that are a bit noisier and don't do as well to get rid of the heat, this one is really quiet, so you don't need to worry about audio, and it also is gonna keep the camera a lot cooler than the other two on the DSMC2 bodies. It also comes in with a built-in gold mount battery plate or a V-mount, depending on what you wanna get. On the front of the camera, there is a shimmed PL mount, and then inside that is the Monstro VistaVision sensor. This is a 46.3 millimeter sensor, so it's pretty large. It's actually larger than anything else out there, at least on the width in terms of full frame. And the only other digital sensor that's larger than this is the Alexa 65. So we have a really nice large sensor in here with the 8K resolution that RED offers. Some quick specs and highlights of the processing of this camera. You can do 60 frames a second in 8K, and you can do up to 240 frames a second in full 2K, or if you wanted to drop to a 2-4 to 1 ratio, you can do 300 frames a second in 2K. You also get 17 stops of dynamic range with the sensor to really retain those highlights and the shadow areas. Now I'm gonna cover more of these specs and details, everything about the body, all the different ports, switches, knobs, everything like that in a separate video. For now, let's start going through all of the accessories that come with this kit. So starting off, we have the red manual. It comes in a really cool digital format that auto plays a video when you open it up and you can probably hear the music in the background, but there's a couple different videos on here that are super helpful to get you acquainted with the camera. So definitely check that out when you pick it up. The next thing is the camera itself, which we just talked a bunch about with that gold mount battery plate on the back, as well as the PL mount on the front of the camera. Some of the hardware that builds on and adds to the camera is the red production handle. This has a bunch of quarter 20 and 3 8 mounts all along it, and this just mounts directly to the top of the cage of the camera. It also has two lightweight 15 millimeter rod supports that again mount to that top cage of the camera if you need to do anything with rods. There's also a nine inch articulating red arm which is used for the monitor, which is right here. And this is the seven inch pro touchscreen red monitor, has a bunch of mounting points on the back from quarter 20 and three eighths, as well as the port for your LCD, and then a couple buttons on the side, pretty standard for a red touch monitor. To plug that monitor in, it doesn't use the quick connects, so you need to have one of these adapters, either the Limo adapter A for the monitor, which mounts right on the top, or you can do the flush mount monitor, which will go on the side of the camera. Both of these come mounted on it already. But if you need to remove any of those things, it also has a couple tools that come with it, a 3 16 ballpoint driver, as well as the classic red sidewinder tool, which has a bunch of things from Phillips head to flat head, some more ball points, as well as some T-bits. Now you also need some way to power the camera, so it comes with this AC power brick, which goes three pin XLR into a four pin into the camera, as well as having a universal power cable, which just plugs directly into the wall. The other cable that comes with this is the LCD cable, which just goes into those Limo adapters that we looked at and then right into the back of the monitor. And lastly, there's two little cases. This first one is just for the standard OLPF. It's just a storage case. It's gonna come pre-installed in the camera, but if you don't want it in the camera and you have to remove it, you can put it in here for safekeeping. And then you also have your universal plug adapters to allow you to go into other countries in the Europe or in UK and plug in no matter where you end up shooting. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video on the Red Ranger going through the unboxing and everything that comes with the kit and talking about some of the highlights of this camera. 
If you want a more in-depth spec video, definitely go and check out the links in the description below. We're gonna have a bunch more coming, also with some sample footage to see what this camera can do. If you guys have any questions about this camera, make sure to leave those in the comments down below, and make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you